back, everybody. This is Lady Dubs, and we're picking up right where we left off. Just heading downstairs to see what Mortimer has for us. Have ye seen such deals before? Tis ye who plunders me. Okay. This is, uh, clothing. This is a widget. This is also a widget. I kind of want to save up for this one, though, because, I don't know, I like the crystal ball-looking thing. Okay, so... Let's go to bed. We'll have a nice fresh start in the morning. And day, yes, please. Uh, oh, there's the boss down there. Okay, let's get to work. Categorizes as new super tuberculosis escape lab, doctors believe elders to be most susceptible. Critics die from blood poisoning after Echnil stabbing themselves with a pen. Local man dead of poisoning intelligence agencies suspect espionage activity. Huge amounts of MMMA just came out and nowhere police claim. Our small town prodigy moves to the city, we say, reach for the stars. Scientists very close to figuring out how to con counter a dangerous pathogen. Big asteroid alert, it's coming right at us. Okay. And looks like today's Friday. Because I think that's how you read this calendar. I don't really know. Okay, morning grim. We seem to be on a precipice of dark times. I have warned you that this job can have some harsh moments. Today is that day. A quota, a total Six humans have to die. At least two humans age 35 or younger have to die. Any human with a medical background have to die. Right? Oh boy, we need six humans to die, and I think we have two, four, six, eight, and two people get to live today. Lashmiki side. Uh, Lashmiki used... Oh, excuse me, sorry about that. Yeah. Lash... Lashimi... Uh, I'm getting color la lax. Lax used work in the animation industry, but grew increasingly tired and stressed due to the lengthy work hours. These days, they're self-employed, running their own tiny art studio, and taking commissions from business to just general fan art enthusiasts. Okay. 35 or younger. I mean, you, I think you're on, like, the good safe side to live. I'll put you over here by the calendar for now. Adria Perez, retired. Adria just a few years ago, after felt they saved up enough money to live comfortably. Their holiday plans were put on hold due to the recent outbreak of super tuberculosis. I feel your pain, sister. My trip to Florida got canceled due to COVID. Alright, you're on the possible live thing because, again, you don't have a medical record and you're on the older side. Mint. Mint comes from an abusive family, which ultimately made them very productive of their older sister. Mint would do anything to keep her safe. As such, they have allied together as the toughest crime boss in the district. One who takes care of their own. Uh, two humans... Age... Two humans age 35 and younger have to die. You're in that age pool, man. I'm not seeing any sort of doctors, though. Anyone's... Wait, which one's... Medical, not doctors, just medical. Inspired... Okay, Tamo Hidaka. Inspired by playing space and shooter a lot as a kid, Tamo decided to join the Earth Defense Unit as an astronaut. A dangerous asteroid has been located for the first time after their training and must now land on the surface to blow it up. Ugh, you know what? You sound like you're kind of important. I'm gonna put you in, like, this gray area here. Yei Hama, immunologist. For the past 15 years, Yei has spent every day working in the windowless concrete bunker testing various vaccines in order to eradicate some of the deadliest diseases of the world. During off times, they enjoy lengthy bike rides. What's medical? Immunologist. Sounds like a medical thing. I'll put you in the maybes for now. Uh, can't. I'm not even about pronouncing that. You're just gonna be war. 78th Senator. War is an aging senator holding on to power because they can't imagine they can do anything else with their life. It's the only thing they have left. Unfortunately, they're also growing increasingly misinformed and illiterate in the ways the modern world works both politically and technologically. Alright. I mean, you're not 
not in the age range. So you're gonna go there for now. Dentist. That, that counts as medical, right? I think. Scott works as a dentist but sometimes regrets not becoming a scientist. Thinking it's too late to switch careers, they occasionally quench their thirst for science by trying to invent a uh, new tooth filling material. Annabelle tells, Annabelle the Doe devoted himself to becoming either an astrophysicist or an astronaut. The two things are somewhat related. They also enjoy painting, mostly nudes, computer programming, and volleyball. So anyone with a background in, in the medical field. Alright, so... No, you, that's, not, that's not medical what you have, but what you have is medical, so I'm sorry, dear. Sorry. Two, six total have to die. Okay, so this is our our first death. And now we just need to kill two humans that are age 35 or younger. Uh, you might actually save the world, so I might let you live. You three, they're all too old. Thirty-five dentist, twenty-year-old gangbanger, uh, twenty-year-old student. What are you? Mink comes from an abusive family, which ultimately made them very, very protective of their older sister. Mint would do anything to keep her safe. As such, they have allied with the toughest crime boss in the district, one who's good at taking care of their own. I don't think that's the best option for your sister, man. Maybe if you're gone, maybe she can find somewhere else to go. I'm gonna take that risk. Okay. We need six, that's only two down. So, these three, I just need one of you three for sure. The dentist, the student, or... Ah. Space intruder as a kid located the first time in training. Okay, so you know what? You're gonna be like a hero person, so I guess I'll have to spare you. Dentist. Uh, you're gonna create some good tooth filling things, though. Uh, Jesus. You have so much potential ahead of you, girl. You know what? I'm still not 100% if this counts as medical or not. Dentist, so I'm just gonna be on the safe side and I'm gonna do die. Okay, that is three so far. Okay, so uh, I know there was like that elderly politician who wasn't that good of a person. Self-employed at an art studio, that's really nice. Uh, holiday plants, uh, do superposis. Yeah, you're the senator who won't let go of power, so you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you let go of power. Okay, that's four. We need two more. The astronaut. The retired woman. The illustrator. Students. Uh, I'm sorry. The retired lady has lived the longest. Sorry, hon. I wish you could have gotten your vacation before then. Uh, one, two, three. Five. Just need one more. I'm gonna have to pick this person. Ugh. Because the other two looks like they astronauts. I don't know. I just feel like that's important, even though it probably isn't. It's just my brain messing with me. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to click out of you, dude. Okay, you two are going to live. Okay. Send you to my boss. I'm sorry. Well, let's go see what the boss may have to say. Oh, no, the clown's back. Psst. How do you live with yourself? Easily. Okay, technically, you are not alive. 
anymore. But maladies are ravaging the populace, microbial forces having their way. Isn't that good? More work for me? What's it to me? I know I'm trying to do better. Yeah? Just stop letting everyone down. The only real sickness here is you. Oh, screw you. I'm not going to bother appeasing you. You're the sickness here, mind voice. I don't think that far. You're the mind sickness here. Keep telling yourself that. You're probably powerless. Ain't anything you can do about it. Disease will spread until it engulfs all. Consider it a warning. Oh, I dislike that voice in my head. I'm not going to be nice to her. I'm going to be rude. Ah, Grim. It looks to be a rough day out there. New recruits often falter during dark time. Yet you seem to have performed adequately. How do you feel after such a day? I was built for dark times. There was a lot to do, but I worked it all out. Bad, I did what I had to do. Doesn't mean I like it. Oh, yeah. Exactly. You and I are on the same page. We all do what is necessary, even if it makes us suffer. Let us hope these days do not continue. Any idea what happened? Do you know what happened? You're in charge after all. Some sort of medical calamity, maybe like an, epide like an epidemic, beats me a day like any other. Don't really care. Death is death. I know it is bad. That's what matters. It was like, yeah, it was like super tuberculosis. Interesting. An insightful streak may yet rattle inside that skull of yours. Hmm? Off you go now, Grim. Good night. Okay. Oh, now we can enter in here. Hi. An air is eerily cold, as frozen in place too, scared to move an inch. Eep a hi, eep a ghost, boo! Uh, hi! Yeah, what, what do you want? You can talk? I'm the new Grim number 81. What's up? Sorry to bother you, I just came over here to meet new people. Uh, as if I didn't have enough on my plate. Now I have to deal with a baby lemon head. Hey now, Gus, play nice. Well, seems I'm stuck with you now. You wanna ask questions or something? What do you do here? What can you tell me about the barkeep? Who were you before? What do you do I'm here? I'm the janitor. I clean up the damn mess you make. What do you mean? What mess? I haven't done anything. Ever looked in the mirror? Or thought about the clientele of this place? What do you mean? Where do you think the drink goes? None of you have a stomach. Anything you consume falls through the ribcage straight to the floor. <laughs> okay, you know what? <laughs> That's pretty funny. I didn't really think about that. I was wondering why the floor is so sticky. Isn't this why? I was wondering why the floor is so sticky. Pretty gross, right? A gift to the world from all you pompous reapers. Or could be at least a little more considerate. I appreciate you. When, I, mean, I appreciate Gee, you. Uh, thanks. Yeah, I have a lot of love for uh, custodial, janitorial people. Trust me, if we did not have that kind of j people doing those jobs in our place of work, it would be a nightmare. <sighs> Definitely. Like, show appreciation to people who do the cleaning wherever you work. They they deserve it. Eh, something else you wanted? How do you clean things? You can tell me something about the barkeep. Who were you before? Well, how do you clean Simple. Things? I float around and I possess stuff and make the stuff float into the trash bin. Oh. Like dust, for example. One dust particle at a time. Or the drinks. One droplet at a time. Uh, that's weird, but also very cool. Eh, it's fine, I guess. Gives me something to do. As if the highest management ever gave any thought to us lowly drones. We're all nameless custodians and spawns to them. Literally. I've got a name. Could be kind of... Could be or kind of busy. I'll make... I'll make a name for myself. They'll have to listen to me. <laughs> Don't forget us poor laborers when you're climbing the corporate ladder. Eh, something else you wanted? Can you tell me about the barkeep? Sorry. They're hella cool. Why, 
Thank you. You're nothing but a sweetheart, ain't you? Ah, shucks. You're the only one who truly treats Gus with respect. Who were you before? Uh, who were you What's before? that supposed to mean? You know, what human were you? Are you the ghost of a profile I marked as death? I was just wondering about your past. Because you thought I'm the ghost of some dead human or beast or what? I mean, you are kind of human-like, so you're not human? Oh, you could be a ghost... Oh, you could be the ghost of an awesome monster beast. I... I mean, if only. No, no. Ghosts aren't mere residue, a relic of humans, animals, or whatever other entities. We're just ghosts. We're beings unto ourselves. Oh. I am the ghost of a ghost. Hang on, we're a ghost and then you died? How does that work? Does that mean you're practically immortal? Uh, I don't want to know more. Are you a ghost? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, Jesus. How does that work? Does that mean you're practically immortal? Like, how does that work? What do work? you think? I ghosted around a long while, doing my ghost business, and then one day, I died. I know what you're thinking now, and yeah, there is a ghost apartment. Northeasterly direction down on floor 133. Not too busy over at Geistorn, though. Ghosts don't die that often. Comes to the territory. Eh, something else you wanted? Uh, no thanks. Thanks for talking yeah, to me, yeah. Gus. We're going to get back to work anyway. Yeah, it was nice ch chatting with you, Gus. We got to a rocky start, but we got along in the end. Uh, grim day. Uh, I get it. Uh, talk to her. Whoa. Hello there. I'm Sari, and I welcome you to... Cerberus's den, the finest drinking establishment this side of the void. <laughs> I sure as heck haven't seen you before. You must be brand new. Maybe you just dapper like the River Acheron. The Avid screams vintage. So, how are you liking existence thus far? Feels pretty good to be alive in a sense. It sucks. I kind of hate it here. Lots of tedious paperwork so far. Oh, don't I know it? Administrative bureaucracy just can't be escaped. I'll always find you. Eventually. But hey, that's why you figure out the small cracks in the system you can manipulate. Okay, newbie, before we continue, I got this little, uh, game I play with every fresh-faced patron. It's real simple. All you gotta do is answer a series of questions, and I'll craft a personalized drink inspired by what you said. It's like a quiz. I love quizzes, and I'm not sure about this. Fun and games? It's so not my style. Yeah, I love right. quizzes. Right, <clears throat> the gist. I'll describe some sort of an odd situation, and you answer how you react. And I usually do four questions, and nothing else to it. Here we go. Prepare for question number one. Before you lies a table teeming with plants. You have to eat one of the plants. Your very life depends on it. Okay. What kind of plant would you prefer to eat? The coarse flower, an apple, a cactus, a mushroom, a rose. Maybe... Uh, well, an apple? It's edible. Time for question number two. You wake up after an accident that has left you in a coma for decades. Your body and mind are ravaged beyond repair. The doctors offer a solution. A cybernetic brain transplant with a personality of your choice. Which will you choose? I'd like to be a very efficient calculator. Why do I, I have to choose? Murder robot! Murder robot! Next up, question three. Almost there. The globe has been struck with what can only be described as a zombie apocalypse. You're stuck at home with little supplies and no weaponry to defend yourself with. What is your strategy? Unlock soul survivor mode, find weapons, kill until I'm the last one left. Just turn into a zombie, it's safe as an easy way to get by. Black zombies and apocalypse scenarios are so played out. Oh, yeah, right, I love those scenarios. They actually scare, scare me still. Let's uh, unlock soul survivor all mode. Right, final stretch. As I said, four is all anyone ever needs, right? You get to cook for a group of friends, but are lacking some very important ingredients without which your meal will hardly be a masterpiece. From what little you can scrounge together, which will make the best topping for a pizza? Onions, especially if I get to shed a tear. Pineapple, 100% always, always favorite. 
Come on, you know it's pineapple. The only choice is pineapple. Stop lying to yourself. You think you'll get an option other than pineapple. Pepperoni, the boring option. <laughs> okay, that's really funny. Uh, let's see. You think you'll get another option other than pineapple. You got it. Let me just calculate the results. I'll take but a moment. <laughs> hmm. Combative, antagonistic, despotic tendencies. Heck, I've got the perfect brew for you. Let's go for four centiliter cinnamon whiskey, two deciliters apple juice, and one whole lime properly squeezed. Next up, a splash of hot sauce and a splash of lime soda with a side garnish of cinnamon caramel crystals. I like it. Please tell us no lie. I think I'll call it Armageddon Lunch. Oh, there's my drink. on the house. Goose boss, nod to bartender. Oh, yeah. The drink burns, the fierce energetic taste of a thousand suns exploding, wiping out Council Civilization with their, their decaying breath. Space time warps in on itself, brutally folding in dimensions on the singular that ignites the under of the unfathomable pressure. It's almost a death changing experience. Okay, it's fairly decent. Reasonably yummy. I guess I like it. Uh, not reasonably yummy. Heck, an understatement of the century! Now, what else can I get you? Uh, your chipter is pretty neat. I'd like a drink. What's your take? What's your take on the janitor? I've been chatting to our spooky one, eh? <laughs> I don't mind the grump, it's a ghost thing. Gus especially has a pretty dang irascible nature, but there's a layer of performance to it. In truth, they've been hella helpful around the den throughout the ages. I'm grateful for that. Besides, the office itself couldn't operate without Gus and company. What else you got in mind? Uh, who else works in the office? Heck, were I able to count and name all the folks? Likely haven't fully realized the size of this place. Got you Reapers and all the myriad departments, the Custodian Legion, the weariless data grinders of the Calculatorium, the abysmal archive with its archivists. Cadaver resources, they're just kind of odd, but someone's got to deal with the internal issues. Middle management, nobody knows what they actually do. Higher <laughs> management, but they don't visit us, basically ever. Same with fate. Many of the regular workers come by the den though, so keep your eyes and ears open. What else you got in mind? Uh, your tip chart's pretty neat. Thanks. Mortimer found the original oinker on an excursion to the shrouded zones. It's a bit of a hassle though. Keeps multiplying all the time. Take your eye off for a second and bam, tiny piglets everywhere. Go on, take one. Just make sure you feed it with some coins once in a while. Uh Okay, I'll be going now. Au revoir, little reaper. Uh, I don't see any sort of, like, little thing of piggies. Uh, whatever. Let's go down and see if, uh, Mortimer's got anything good. Good patron, me ship of goods is at your service. A coin? This is just a widget. A coin which usually makes up the largest portion of buried treasure. Resonator accelerates... Wait, can I afford this now? Yeah. The resonator accelerates... Electromagnetic waves of various frequencies generated by artificial vibrations, which travel through aether and then blast them at you. And this is just a terror-inducing thing. Okay, I want... Okay. Shiver me timbers. Tis a tale most sordid. I dare not even recall the details. But since you wish to hear it, I shall tell it forthwith. There I was, scouting some rickety office building downtown. And I saw this in an elevator. Went in. Tore it out and made a run for it. <laughs> the device has immense power. Ye turn the knob, and infinite pleasant noises come from it. Some might even call it music. So we got a radio? Okay, well, oh, yeah, there's my thing. All right, I'll pick it up tomorrow. Let's go to bed for now. Boss at. Yeah, he just chilling. All right. Oh. What do we got? Oh yay! Hey, where's my pig? I want my piggy. Okay, see if we can clean up the mess of 
today. That might give you just the boost you need. Do not forget you may leave troubles behind, but new ones always ahead. Quota, two humans have to die. Spare humans who seem helpful against the troubles. What happened here? What is astrophysics all about anyway? Let NFL teach you. You need all of this dead as epidemic is hard as those trying to combat it. Local thugs, stats, and a gang-related Bones finally at rest after game complex ends through an assassination of crime boss and close associates. Local census accidentally poisons himself when testing experiments with two filling. A legend passes. Zyna von der Word dies in off his chair, the one they fought for decades ago as a young progressive. Big asteroids successfully blow up, astronauts return and escape. Super tuberculosis is death toll rising. Rowdy parties of the rise cause disturbance at various neighborhoods. Okay, so we need to spare humans that are going to help against the troubles that face the world, which seem to be just the super tuberculosis. Gardner, Rosalind's favorite plant is the common grass, which they implant everywhere they work. There's no flowers, no trees, no bushes, only grass as far as the eye can see. The lack of biodiversity in these gardens seriously affects the local population. Rector in Bangrass, Gunrunner. Rector is inspired to enter the army trade and they saw that the monster killed them with the assassin with an automatic weapon. They compared the constant need for weapons to be seen for food. Recently, they started a waiver in their They have witnessed first hand destruction of their merchandise rings. Okay, most likely dead, just a few. Scam artist, a liar and a grifter. Writing books of ignorant nonsense. These words and actions of incredible butterfly effect of misery on a global scale, which they now profit of on a time global scale. Kill you. Drug dealer. Aaron is a small time criminal selling low grade narcotics to those who just want to party. Lately, they've started experimenting with other chemical compounds to figure out if they can conduct any new interesting blends. Esso started and set a self-help mentor. After years of struggling to pay their debts by selling nostalgic plate of merchandise by vaguely self-help nature, Urza finally found a brand new avenue into helping people for money, diet rocks, and natural amusement. Oh. Levy sells weapons, okay, let me safer, Levy sells weapons to anyone in need. Their biggest customer, of course, is the military. They have sent lobbyists and governments to make sure that there always is a war going on somewhere. However, their grandparents' last wish was for Levy to protect the forests of their homeland, for which Levy has been constantly funneling money. Okay, you're a little bit harder to put down. You're just a drug dealer. Scam artist.
That wasn't so good, was it? It's okay. We can figure it out, make it work. Crisp and clear like the azure pond at the forest glade. Yeah, I can do this. It's not, it's, no, it's already falling apart. Yeah, I can do this. You were born for this. That's what fate keeps telling you, ain't it? It's like a surge in your spine. A faint echo of a perfect chord. It's very close, Grand Reaper. Be seeing you. Bye, voice in my head. Alright, let's talk to the boss man. Welcome, Grim. It is the end of the week. Your performance review draws near. How do you think you have been doing? Crushing it, profiles come in, and I send them out clockwork. Dismal, I hate everything about this job. I think I've managed to follow the rules. I'm just surprised I made this. I, I think I managed to follow the rules. Interesting. Hmm. Yes. Your answer has been recorded for the psych eval. Now then, before the assessment, let us look over your daily conduct. I see the required profiles are all here. Excellent. This bodes well for the evaluation. I guess it is time to get started. Uh, wait, I wanted to ask about today. Yes? What about today? Yesterday went really bad. What about today? Did I make... Today? Mm. Oh, everything seems to be getting better as we speak. Do not worry about it. Fixing the world is a slow process, so keep at it. As long as you follow the rules, it will all get better. Now, where did I put those papers? Ah, here we go. Right, looking at these stats, the numbers say... Your conduct over the seven days has been most excellent. I am, sincerely, Surprised and pleased by your display of loyalty. So much so that the office has deemed you fit for a raise. Nice! Thank you. I don't need, don't really do this. Thank you. Oh, do not thank me, Grim. We are just getting started. Speaking of, the raise also comes with a prize. The office is proud to present you with an award of excellence. Display it proudly on your workstation. Will do. Four perfunctionate claps. Nice. You know, I'll, I'll join you. One, two, three. Yeah. Do not let this cloud your judgment. You still have much to learn and many rules to follow. This has been so hard. Does it get easier? More rules, piece of cake? I like, I like ice cream. What? I swear, there must have been something off in the Grim Brew. Nonetheless, as such, your seven-day evaluation period has concluded. You have passed. Yay! That is all. Until tomorrow, Grim. Sweet! Get a little hundred extra coins! And you know what? I think now is good enough to end the end of the video here. We're making good progress, and I am Watching, hit subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with the story, ring that bell. 